India are probably the worst footballing nation for how big they are. 1 billion plus in population, yet they're still under 100 in the world FIFA rankings. But today, I'm changing that. I have three five-star, five-star Indian scouts, and they're going to find the best Indian talent. I'm going to put them onto this team, India FC, and we are going to turn them into superstars. We haven't scouted anyone yet, but let me come back to you with hopefully future Ballon d'Or winners and Champions League superstars. And this is the team after the first couple of scouting purports. I literally just took the first players that came up including this ma guy let me show you how absolutely ridiculous this guy is 17 years old and he's already 67 rated in terms of positioning we're gonna make him a right winger he is absolutely insane we have other decent players as well including our goalkeeper Akhtar we also have wingers like Barman a striker called Kapoor we're hopefully gonna make an actual ST two weeks perfect I'm actually gonna make Ma a left winger because we already have a good right winger in Barman but yeah these were literally the first players that came up in the scouting report their potential is probably gonna be bad maybe as the season goes on though they're dynamic potential will shoot up, but I don't really know how that's going to go. Kapoor, up to a 58 overall. That's pretty good. And then Ma as well. He is going to go up to a 68. Brilliant. Okay, so we already have like one of the best players in League 2. That's insane. But this team is still absolutely abysmal. We need another scouting report. But we're going to get loads of players like this. His potential is really, really good. But 28 to 38 overall. He's just too low rated. No way. This guy looks insane. Oh my god. 3.1 million value. 73 to 99. His barman as well. We have to sign him. Okay, we have two players left that aren't Indian in this team. Chapman and Curtis. Curtis is retiring at the end of the season, so there's nothing I can do. But the rest of this team is just absolutely terrible. We have four goalkeepers and a bunch of right wingers. We have this guy called Raman, which is pretty close to Raman, to be fair. He's almost Raman as well. And what about potentials? So we already know about Matt. He's an exciting prospect. But this Barman guy, we just signed him on a youth academy. He's potential to be special. That is incredible. Okay, I think I thought Kapoor was going to be our striker, but no, it has to be this towering Barman guy. Oh, 198 weeks. What about center mid? 86. Okay, we're going to have to make him a center mid to make it all work, but ah, uh, okay, that's gonna take forever. But it'll speed up if I buy coaches. So we need coaches. I start everything. Oh my god. Okay, so the aim would be to put this barman guy at center mid instead of this Begum guy who's really low rated. And we need what positions do we need? Okay, so we need a CDM and we need a left back. And after I bought all those coaches, barman, what about his center mid? 46 weeks instead. Okay, that's a bit more doable. We just wait a year and we get into center mid. Okay, but things we need: center mid and a left back. Okay, I have a center mid. He's 64 rated, which is brilliant but his potential 65 to 87 that's really weird and also not the best i am going to promote him because we need a center mid cdm but he's not that good yeah he's at the club since his potential isn't even 80 overall and he can't even play cdm but we can play center mid for the moment so he's going to be useful right now and we also have this 47 rated cdm because we needed a cdm and now we have one finally although he is terrible but there's nothing we can do about that we still also don't have a left back and this is the boring part of these videos that you guys don't see i'm just going through and sorting out development plans these bits tend to be really tedious but they are the most valuable as to making our players as good as possible. India FC, man. We're going to do absolutely terribly in this first season. But look, fingers crossed we can somehow put it all together for next year. All right. Berman, potential to be special. Now it's 42 weeks. It's gone up because he's on bad form. Oh, God. Hope it doesn't take too long. As I'm flicking through these players, I'm looking for quality. 250k is not enough. I feel like I have the depth of striker and I definitely have the depth of nets. We just need defenders. This guy could be good. So that's nice. Nobody else. Any defenders? Yeah, we have two center backs. Let's see about... I guess these guys, 47 rated, but it is 74 to 94. This guy's 42, but 79 to 94. Can we make this guy a left back? In four weeks, yeah. Okay, so let's just do it. And then this guy, we may as well make him a full back as well. And then this guy, his potential isn't that good, but his overall is pretty decent. We can make him a centre back. We can actually promote him straight away. Same with this guy. And these other two guys, we may as well leave them here because it's another four weeks where they actually become left backs. We can actually play Rahman straight away beside Rahman. wonder how many Rahmans we can get. We already have two. I'm shooting for four. Plus me is five. But what we can actually do is remove Jay Chapman and then we only have Arthur Curtis, who we cannot sack because he's retiring at the end of the season. But everyone else is from the fine nation of India, the most underperforming national team in the world. Let's see if we can take them the whole way, the top of world football. The ultimate aim for this simulation is to win the Champions League. We're currently in League 2, and we are right down the bottom of the table. We're going to have to climb through the football pyramid, topple all of English teams, then topple every single team in Europe, and win the Champions League with a full team of Indians. This is going to be difficult, but I will do everything in my power to make it happen. Hey, we made him a left back. There we go. To a 44 overall. Yippee. And we can also go ahead and make this guy left back. 49 overall. That's pretty good. And we are going to have to promote the 42 overall. He's now 44 overall because he's the only one that is actually 16 and could get promoted. This is bleak. This guy as well, his overall is too low and his potential is crap, so no way. And this Ahmad guy is pretty good, but 47 rated. Uh, we can just leave him here for a bit and see how he does. Matt is doing super well, by the way. 70 overall. We have Kapoor up front, but Barman is actually starting up top, which is brilliant. That's really good. He's sharp anyway, so he must be coming on to some effect, which 
which is excellent. We want him to get games and we are waiting for the Barman position change whenever it comes through. So Karishi is at the club since. That's not very good. For those of you who don't know, showing great potential is 80 to 85 overall. Exciting prospect like Ma is 86 to 88. And then has potential to be special like Barman is 89 potential or over. Rahman at the club since. That's not good. Mohammed potential to be special. Oh my God. So we have two potential to be special strikers. Kapoor. Oh my God. No, this is wrong. This has to be wrong. Okay, keeper's exciting prospect. That's a little bit more normal, but Jesus. Okay, so we have three potential to be special strikers. Do we even care about making Barman a striker? Well, no, we're going to make him a center mid, aren't we? He's going to take Karishi's place. Bit of a shame about Karishi. I wish his potential was higher. Maybe though, with dynamic potential, his potential can go up the more games he plays. Let's see. Let's see what happens with him. Oh, this guy looks good. I really hope he's a center back so we can make him a left back. Normally, people who are center backs are pretty easy to make left backs in terms of like development. Oh, 1.1 million. If he's a left mid, I bet I could make him a left back. If he's a right mid, I bet I can make him a right. Back. Potential's not good enough. That's the thing. These players, their potential just has to be sky high. Gupta is playing in nets instead of Akhtar. I don't really mind. Kapoor's not playing up front instead. I think Mohammed is. Doesn't really matter. Diamond, no. Gupta. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god, this guy's good. 75 to 94 potential. And he's a left mid. Can I make him a left back? 83 weeks. No. Okay, can I make him a right winger? In 11 weeks. Oh, why does he take so long to move position? Okay. I'm gonna have to make him a right winger. Okay. And then there's a CDM that's actually better. Gulab Mohammed. Okay, so we can promote him. Here's a left back. 50 overall. That's better as well. This other guy's better. But, ah, no. No. Ahmad is too low rated. And then this thing, we're just gonna leave him here until he becomes a right winger in three months. As for our team, we actually have players in the right positions now, which is nice. But I do want to organize this team, make sure we're playing the right players. So yeah, so like Kapoor can be on the bench. Barman should be on the bench like that. There we go. That's probably right. Okay, so the Indian Youth Academy is going pretty well at this point. But we are getting beaten by quite a bit in like every game. We won a game. Oh my God, we beat Mansfield and we're still not sacked. Here we go. Oh my God, 27 to 37 overall. Oh, this guy looks good. Sign him. There we go. Let's go out again with another scout report and see who else we can get. This time around though, okay, so we definitely need defenders. So defensive minded, yes, that's in India as well. And defensive minded kind of covers from like CDM back, which I'm happy with. Other than that, we're kind of fine for wingers. We're fine for attackers. Let's just go for physically strong and see who we end up with. Overall and potential has to be high. I need both. I need both now at this point because the players that are currently playing for my team, naturally their overall and their potential will just go up. So I'm looking for a pretty high bar of overall and potential here. I'm really searching through the rubble for the best of the diamonds. And this is what I'm looking for. Granted, 200,000 overall value isn't great. 71 to 94 potential though is pretty damn good. I'll take him. There's no point in not. I have room in my youth academy. Let's see what he ends up like. I think this is him here. Manish Mohammed, 50 overall, but 71 to 94. There's no problem putting a development plan on him, leaving him in here for a bit and just seeing how he ends up. Other than that though, how far is this thing going on? Oh, he's one more week to become a right winger. Other than him, Shiv Mohammed is a right back, which is exactly what we need. Uh, however, he's 15. So we do need to wait a little bit for him. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, he doesn't go up at all. That's okay, though. That is actually okay. What we can do is just promote him straight away anyway. Here he is, Singh, promote to the first team. Doesn't quite get the start over Gupta, but that is okay. We have depth now. And then the left wing, we have three white right wingers, but no left wingers. Okay, so let me try and make one of these guys a left winger. Barman is very unhappy. I wonder, can we make him a center mid? How far off is he? Submit a transfer request. Oh, no. He's nine weeks off being a center mid. Bro, come on. Okay, who, who, who are the most valuable players we have in our team? Okay, so the likes of Ma. We should renew these guys. Okay, so Mohammed's not playing, and this guy is. That's fine. He's two overall better, and Gupta's not playing anymore. Singh is getting games, but Akhtar is back. That's kind of what I want to see, to be honest. But yeah, some of our team is really, really good, and then other parts are just absolutely abysmal. Going into the last game of the League 2 seasons, though, uh, we're 20 seconds. <laughs> we are absolutely horrific, but somehow, like the North Korean video, we finished bottom of the league in that one. We're actually not bottom of the league in our first season, despite conceding by far the most goals of any team. 90 goals in 45 games is just horrendous, but we're actually doing, like, all right. Last game against Crew Alexandra, we did win it. Nice, that's pretty good. Decent. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And there we go. There we go. Okay, Barman. We can make him a center mid. This is a big moment. Does he go up? No, he doesn't. Okay, that's okay, though. He's still one of the best players on the team by absolute far. Submitted a transfer request is so gutting, though. I hope he doesn't mean it. I really hope he doesn't. Shah is coming off. Barman is coming on. Although, Shah, I think, has pretty decent potential. And Qureshi has horrible potential. So what I might try and do is make Qureshi a CDM. Yeah, Shah has that special something. And Qureshi has nothing. 248 weeks. But we could make him a right mid. What about left? Nobody wants to play left back. We could just make him a backup winger. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make him a backup winger. He'll probably be like 70, 75 overall, and then that's it. And that's perfectly fine. This is not like speed running from the last video. We're just taking our time with this one. He's up to a 70 overall, which is very good. I just give him a new contract. He's not going to get much better, I don't think. Yeah, he's still at the club since, so he's only going to go up by like six or seven overall. But we are going to give him an extension just so he doesn't leave us like Barman so desperately wants to. That's so sad. Okay, so Karishi can't play center mid anymore, so Shah is going to play center mid instead. 
dead. Still need that left back and honestly still could do with that CDM. Could maybe do with another center back as well. Let's see what the monthly scouting reports has in favor for us. Not much. Oh, this guy looks good. Oh my God. 77 to 94 potential. 57 to 71 overall. I'd definitely sign him. And he's a left back. This is perfect. Oh my God. We actually have a left back. This guy looks decent as well. Okay. Now we're moving. Let's go. Decent. Damn. Oh my God. 1.3 million value. 77 to 94. Yes. Sign him. Sign him. Definitely. Okay. We may just have found our center back. It's 1.7 million value. Sign him. That could be our CDM. No way. We've just filled all three positions just like that. That guy looks good as well. Oh my God. That is insane. I was literally there going, we need a left back, a center back, and a CDM. And we may have just found a left back, a center back, and a CDM in one use scouting report. That's insane. Let's see what we have. Highest rated left back, CDM, and also a left back. That's actually fine, to be honest. This guy's left back, slash center back. This guy's left back, slash right. Okay, this is tough. Okay, so we don't need this guy. 45 rated is just way too low rated. And nothing under 50 is too bad. Even 51. Honestly, not good enough. Rahman, no, sorry. I have too many goalkeepers. It doesn't matter. I have too many wingers. It literally doesn't matter. I'll keep this guy, this guy, and then, okay, so here we go. So how much to make you a center back? Two weeks. How much to make you a center back? Also two weeks. Phenomenal. Which one of you is taller? You're 5'5 five five and you're 5'8. Five okay, so we're going to make the 5'8 guy a center back. Not particularly ideal though, to be honest. This guy's 6'2, but he's a CDM. Promote him. Prasad, promote him. And then Pratip Mohammed, we're going to make him a center. Brilliant. We actually did it. So there goes Prasad into there and there goes Karishi. He's, oh, he's Karishi as well. Oh my God, no way. Karishi and Karishi. We've got two Qureshis and we've got two Ramans. Hoping to keep these guys forever and ever. And here's Mohammed. Okay, we're putting together a nice little team here. I'm liking the look of this. Feeling pretty comfortable right now. We're going to simulate two weeks and make him into a center back. We win our first league game of the season against Barrow. This could be a good season for us. We actually could go up in season two. And going up in season two would be pretty damn good going for a youth academy run. Okay, so Prasad is showing great potential. That's 80 to 85. So is Mohammed, 80 to 85 as well. What about our CDM? He's an exciting prospect, 86 to 88. That's very nice. And there we go. Our left back is now a center back and he is up to a 62 overall. He's going to start center back for us alongside Prankaj Raman, who himself is at the club since. Let's have a quick flick through. Kureshi at the club since. Barman submitted a transfer request, but he is potential to be special. Raman at the club since, not great. Prakash Mohammed showing great potential. Kapoor, potential to be special. And Kapoor is starting. Akhtar and Net submitted a transfer request. That's not what I want to see. Prasad showing great potential. Kureshi, exciting prospect. Mohammed showing great potential. Gupta showing great potential. Barman showing great potential. Okay, this is brilliant. And actually starting on our right wing is Kureshi is actually getting runs. He might be getting runs ahead of Ma, which is ridiculous. Kapoor is starting up front and Begun is starting in midfield. Or is it Karishi? But it should be Shah. And then Akhtar is not playing. Gupta is instead. I think that's okay. I hope that's okay. Better be okay. Monthly scouting report again. Let's flick through and see if we can find any world-class talent from India. Oh, he looks all right. Ooh, decent. Oh my God, we have another striker. Oh my God. There's not even a striker. He's a center forward. Can we make him a center mid though? 81 weeks. That actually might be worth it. Let's just do it. How old is he? 17? Ah, okay. I was just going to leave him in there as long as possible. It's not looking great though. So now we have one player that's 57 overall. Just kidding. He's not playing anymore. Mohammed is. There we go. In center mid, I guess it's Karishi. It might actually be Karishi starting on the left wing and Mac coming on for him, which is ridiculous. I hope not. Raman's not playing. I think Begum is instead. Oh god. I hate when this happens in simulations. Anyway, nothing I can do about it. So let's just go. Oh, contracts. I've done all of these guys. So even like Barman is way too good. Uh, okay. See, some of these players aren't good enough. Chowdhury's not good enough. This Mohammed guy's not good enough. Neither is this one. Tavari's not good enough. Raman we need because he's our fullback. We're almost there. We're almost at everyone above 60. How are we doing in the league though? In our second season, we are in second place. We are absolutely smashing it. The only team ahead of us are the mighty Bantams of Bradford City. I'll take that. I will absolutely take it. Granted, promotion this year? I don't know if that's the best idea for us. Like, if we stay in this division for another year, we're going to absolutely destroy it next season and probably fly through League One back-to-back -back promotion style. That's kind of what I'm hoping happens. But if it doesn't happen, I mean, hey, you know. I'll take promotion if it comes. What about now? Still at the club since. Okay. Kapoor potential to be special. And yeah, he has now become our starting and main striker. And while these guys are showing great potential now. Their potential could increase as time goes on. Dynamic potential, of course, is a thing. So the more these players play, the more their potential might shatter that glass ceiling and go beyond what their initial potential was. Please tell me you can play center mid. Please. Oh my God. 10 weeks. Yes. Finally. Okay. Ashok Barman. 77 to 94 potential. 61 rated center mid. Okay. We have a good center mid. This is good. This Prasad guy. We're trying to make him center mid as well. 70 weeks. It's only going up. I'm just going to release him. This guy looks good. 80 to 94 potential is insane. And he's only 15. That's a bit of a shame, but he's so good. Okay, so now we actually have a little bit of a conundrum. This CDM is really good and we don't really want to touch him. Shah could be a very, very good center mid. I have no idea. When he gets to 60 overall, we'll be able to check his status, whether it's showing a potential exciting prospect or potential to be special. Barman, we already know, has that quality, but does want to leave. So there's absolutely no harm in me getting another center mid in the door anyway.
away. Big game here against the Bantams. Come on. Ooh, two all draw. I'll definitely take that. We are back on the first. This guy looks good for sure. We'll take him. Oh my God. 1.4 million value. 78 to 94. This is what I mean when I say I'm going to come through the dirt and try and find a diamond or two. Players like him. And let's see exactly what position he is. Okay. Gupta is a center back. Interesting. Because in our team, 64 and 66 rated. But this Rahman guy, by being actually called Rahman, my boy. Yeah, yeah, his potential isn't particularly great. However, we could actually do with a right back. So what I might do, he's been approached by whole city, but I don't really care. What I might do is try and make him a right back. Yeah, 27 week. That's not great. That's not that great. But what about Gupta? Could already play there, but what if we just made it? Two weeks. Okay. That might just be the move then. I think I'm just going to do that. I'll wait the two weeks to make him a right back and then I'll promote him. Barman not bar off the center mid now. Six weeks left. Then we also have the Sheikh guy to play left back. We need the backup for the father of Passage. We have had some new players cross 60 overall though. So let's see what status they give us. Gupta. Showing great potential. Shah, exciting prospect. Perfect. So we have that potential in center mid with Shah already. And when Barman does inevitably leave us, as per the rules of my youth academy runs, we can buy him back. But we have that extra competition in the midfield there anyway, if we so want it. Brilliant. I'm really, really happy with where this is going. I don't think we're going to need to do a third scouting run. I'm pretty happy. If we just get our scouts back with whatever they give us, that'll be the end of it. And that's it. No more scouting offers. Our scouts are back in their quarters, never to leave again. That's it. We're done with our scouting. And this is what we have. Our five players in the youth academy. We can make him into a right back and we can promote him to the senior team. And this is that senior team that he will be playing with. Brilliant, brilliant team. All over 60 overall and all ready to take on the world. I'm very excited. Kamar, by the way, in the League 2 is already a gold player. That's insane. We also have a couple silver players, including the rest of our front line and some of our midfield and centre back as well. There is quality here. There is plenty of quality here. And I'm very, very excited to see where it takes us. What I might actually do, though, just to deal with this contract situation is I think I'm going to release Barman and then just get him back. Harun Barman. Oh, blocked from receiving transfer offers. Okay, let's try again in a week because we do actually kind of need him this year. We lose to Bradford and to Doncaster without him. So we do definitely need him. Oh, we can't get him. Okay, let's just leave him there then. That's fine. Chelsea for 14.5 million. Jesus. Block. A port block. Ooh, what about rat block? Not even close. We're not selling anyone. Now this Karishi trying to play center mid. Not too happy about that. How long has Barman got left? One week. Oh, perfect. We could have a center mid pairing of Barman and Barman. It doesn't go up in any overall, but that's okay. And there is Barman. Promote to the senior team. Perfect. There we go. Brilliant stuff. Okay, as we're coming to the end of our second season, how are we actually doing in the league? Okay, we're down to seven. That's a bit of a shame. We have fallen a bit off the pace, but like I said, we could take the extra year to just develop. That's probably fine. These players are shockingly bad after all. What can we do? Let's just go to the top of March. For whatever reason, now Akhtar is playing in nets as opposed to Gupta. Bit of conflict here. Gupta lower rated, but has been playing in nets up to this point. Not anymore. This other Gupta guy, by the way, has just come in and immediately become our captain. What a sigma. In terms of goal scoring, yeah, we're scoring a decent amount of goals. We're conceding a lot, though. That's the story of these Youth Academy runs, though. We score a lot, we concede a lot. Hey ho, what can you do? Tarun Barman still can't go and approach him. Really want to, though. Really want to. Just have to sim this out and pray we end up doing well. We move into the last couple of games of the seasons we could do with some wins, and we beat Barrow, who are currently second in the league, and then we go and lose to Notts County. That's not great. And Newport. That's up to very unhappy. Why? Okay, we've got to fill these guys up with some ketamine. Hold on. Give them all some weed. And now they're all happy. See? Problem solved. And now Gupta's playing again. I have no idea what's going on with our goalkeepers. Hey, we beat Cheltenham. That's good. And we lose to Tranmere. And we're 11th. Oh, God. We are sinking like stones. Don't really know how to feel about all of this. Genuinely. Uh, I'm a bit iffy about this. Although we could well just do back-to-back -back promotions. <laughs> Genuinely, I've seen stranger things happen. But a terrible season, actually. 11th ending up. After being second in the league after, like, 20 games. Really bad. Barman's been picked up. I'm going to approach to buy him. Release Clausy. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. He's ours. He's our player. So we can go and buy him. And hip, hip, hooray. He's back. Barman in midfield. By the way, he's improved so much. Up to a 74 overall. He's also on the joint biggest wage at the club, but he is an exciting prospect, which is actually down. He was potential to be special. Doesn't mean he can't go back up again, though, of course. Or potential to be special. Karishi's still at the club since, but he will get better in three weeks. I want to see how well he does. Rahman is also at the club since. Vega, but center back is an exciting prospect. I wonder if we could send him out on loan for two years. Although that seems kind of pointless. Although maybe not, though, because Rahman has no potential. Maybe let's try that. Here he is. Vega, exciting prospect. Add to loan list. And there's basically nothing for us to do. Coaches are sorted. Development plans are set. There's nothing we can do. We just keep simulating and pray we can actually get out of this godforsaken division this season. Transfer offers and all that. I don't care. First game of the season, we lose. Brilliant. Excellent. Exemplary. And we lost again. And we lost in the cup. We draw our first point of the season. Oh, we lost again. Okay, we win. Finally. Okay, we're off the board. We're on the board and we're back off the board and we're worse and we're terrible and everyone hates us and we drew against Morecambe and we lost to Carlisle and we're down the bottom of the table. 
table. Oh, why are we so bad? We just leak goals. Why is Mohammed not playing? Oh, I hate this. Some of these players are so bad and they just should not be playing. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But hey ho, here we are. Oh god, nothing I can do. We press on. We won and we drew and we lost. Oh god, this is actually the worst simulation ever. We are three seasons in and we're just getting smoked in everything. Oh no. Oh, this could be the worst youth academy speedrun we've ever done. Okay, we can promote him and we can promote him. I'm gonna leave him. I don't really care. Some of these guys are absolutely garbage. Okay, Ratman's up to showing great potential. That's pretty good. Sheik is an exciting prospect at right back. Okay, let me add him to the loan list. Shower actually playing. We only have one or two potential to be special guys. We really, really need dynamic potential to come in clutch. Oh, I've been fired. No. How the hell am I gonna save this? I have no idea. I feel like the team is good. I actually feel like the team is good, but I feel like its potential isn't. And that's what's really, really scaring me. I feel like the potential isn't good enough in this team. Okay, Akhtar, we can sell and buy back. Mohammed, no. Gupta, no. Man United, Jesus. That's a good sign. That's actually a really good sign. Akhtar, okay. Let's go buy him back. Here he is. Oh, when the transfer window's open. Okay. Which is January. Go to January. Oh, they rejected the loan. Oh my god. He's gone to Al Ahly. That's fine. Win. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now I think we're starting to win games. Manager of the month award as well. As we head towards January, we're doing pretty good. A draw at Grimsby isn't great. Draw to MK Dons. Beat Newport. Beat Barrow. And Gillingham. Okay. We're putting it together now. This is good. And oh, we lost to Stevenage though. That's not very good. And we lost to Cambridge. Oh god. Okay. We beat Accrington. And Doncaster. And it's January. Okay. Matt is up to 80 overall in League 2. That's insane. Gupta actually isn't the best right back. Mohammed is actually a better right back. We just got him from the youth academy. Karishi's not playing and he's disappointed, but I don't care. Barman is also gold and Kapoor is also gold. Gupta's not far off. Neither Karishi at CDM either. We're starting to push now. We're starting to put together results and we're starting to climb the table. Up to fifth. 25 games gone. Long way to go still. And we're only a single point off automatic promotion. We're doing a great job. Six off the top as well. And I would love that League 2 trophy. Okay, into February now. And how are we set? We're in the quarterfinals of the BSM trophy. That's good. League 2. Fourth. Okay. I'm telling you this now. In our third season, we should be topping this league more than comfortably. However, like with this team, we should be destroying the league. But we're not. Why? There's probably a couple of reasons. Uh, players aren't too happy and bits and bobs like that. But generally, we, we should be absolutely decimating the league. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay, Youth Academy. Let's try and change this guy's position. No, no difference in overall. Raman's not playing at centre back. Ray is playing at centre back instead. That's insane. Why would they do that? This Ray guy is the joint lowest rated player at the entire club. Why even bother playing him? Just leave him as backup, man. Begum's up 12 overall. Oh my god. Oh my. Uh, uh, recall him. Recall him. We need him. Oh my god. That is insane. What the hell happened? Oh my. Yeah, play him, obviously. That could actually genuinely just save us. Just like that. We don't have backup goalkeeper. We could do with a backup goalkeeper. Okay, let me send a scout back out. Oh, actually, we have that guy that we got rid of. Never mind. We'll just buy him back. Yeah, Akhtar. Yeah, let's just buy this guy back. Never mind. Okay, now we have a backup goalkeeper again. That makes a lot more sense. Can't actually use him though until next year. But hey, we're going to be fine. This prey doesn't get injured. Okay, let's go, man. Now into April. How are we set? We're actually in the final of the BSM trophy from League 2. That is exceptional from us. But what about in the league? We're up to third, so we are in automatic promotion. We could, in theory, push for the title. We're looking good with our games remaining. Oh man, this team is so good. I feel like if we could just get out of this division, we're just going to fly up the leagues. I really hope that's what happens. I'm making sure to do the contracts of these guys so they don't get too sad and try and leave. They will play with me forever and ever and ever. Karishi has requested to move away from the club, but he's only gone up one overall this year. And he's not going to get better for another 57 weeks, which is more than a year. Uh, so I don't really care, to be honest. And that's what we need. Because the main guys are like these guys on triple digit wages. Like, that's not good enough. You shouldn't be playing for my team and be a part-time player. Our captain's on 545 quid a week. We definitely have to change that. I feel like the team is actually coming along really, really well now now, especially with Begum coming back and being so damn good. We have really good depth actually as well, but I don't really know what's going on with results. This team is far too good to be playing in League 2. And we win! We win the Papa John's Trophy, the BSM Cup. We do win it. But we get two draws in the league and a loss against Colchester. I don't know what's going on. Carlisle beat us as well. Now we're in May. We're not going to be an automatic promotion, are we? Yeah, we're four. Okay, um, we could still get automatic promotion if we win our next two games. 77 points does take us up to second if Harrogate lose. We'd have to get lucky though. Here we go. Morecambe, we beat. Come on, we can win. And we do. Win this game and we should be okay. Oh, we'll draw. One game left in the season. We're fourth. Tied on points with Harrogate. Tranmere one ahead. And we have Tranmere to play. If we win this game, we get.
get promoted. If we lose this game, we probably don't. Simple as that. No holds barred, nothing left to chance. Here we go. The biggest game of our season and of this simulation so far. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're in the playoffs. Oh my god. All right, Walsall to play. All right, all right. And we draw the first leg. And we draw the first leg. And we've lost Barman in midfield. Okay, so we're gonna have to play Shah. I've been recording for an hour and a half and we're still not out of League Two. This is abysmal. Walsall versus India. Come on, India. Come on, India. Come on. Okay, good. I'm not even like delighted. I'm just like happy that it's happened. A 3 0 win. All goals in the second half, by the way. Scraping through. MK Duns in the playoff cup final. Here we go. The biggest game of our season. Wembley Stadium. Here we go. For the very first time in Wembley. Oh my god. How is this possible? How can this be? You're telling me, even if we get rid of Shao, right? Let's put in Barman, right? 69 over. Yeah, whatever. This team, with everyone 70 plus apart from three players starting, with a bunch of gold cards, with Ma, who's a transfer value of bajillions, is not good enough to get out of League Two. Ma is a Premier League player. Kapoor is a Premier League player. Barman's probably a Premier League player. The rest are Championship, maybe League One at the top at worst. And we can't even get out of League Two. I hate this. I hate this so much. What is it? something's up. Something's obviously up. Is it the formation or something like that? Is it something simple like that? It can't be. What's up? How does that happen? Okay, we better absolutely destroy the league next season. We won the BSM trophy, which is the trophy between League 1 and League 2, but we cannot get out of League 2. Unbelievable. Un this is the, so far, the worst youth academy run of all time. I don't know how I'm going to save this. I could be staying in League 2 forever. If that team's not good enough to get out of League 2, then what makes me think a better team is good enough to get out of League 2? Okay, Matt has gone up to potential to be special. Kapoor potential to be special. Barman potential to be special. Begum has gone down to showing great potential. Wouldn't worry about it though, maybe. Both our centre-backs are now showing great potential. Should be okay. Gupta showing great potential as well. Prasad is showing great potential. Mohammed at the club since. Rahman at the club since. Not great. So is Barman at the club since. That's bad. Sheikh is still lone listed. Karishi's not getting any better. What I'm going to do is sell him and buy him back. Worst comes to worst, he'll be very, very good for our bench. <laughs> and that is okay. We need loads of those as well. There goes Karishi. We can go and buy him back. Keep calling Karishi. It's probably Karashi or something, but Karishi, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna run with it. Just for the record, my editor is Indian, by the way. Um, yeah, Shavardan, how do you how do you feel about this? Is it really going that badly? Oh god, Re that bad? Really? I hope we win the league this year. <laughs> That'll potentially get better. Here we go. August. Oh, we lose our first game of the season. And our second. Okay, but we win in the cup. That's good. And we win in the league. Okay, we're off the ground. And we're moving. Accrington down. What about Swindon? We beat them as well. Millwall beat us on penalties in the cup. So we're out of that. That's kind of tough. Draw with Barrow. After the first month of league fixtures, we're in seventh. Okay, so we're there. There or thereabouts anyway. All we can do is just keep simming. How are we actually not decimating this league? We're playing Bradford again. In the time we've been in League Two, Bradford have got promoted and relegated again and we're playing them again and they beat us 2-1 i hate them actually i don't i like bradford <laughs> bradford can beat us whenever they want okay okay we're in january how are we doing we're second we're not even top but we're there or thereabouts i guess matt is up to an 85 in league two actually one of the best young players in the world he's only 20 his transfer value by the way is 129 million and he's in league two and he cannot get out of league two none of these guys can muhammad is playing instead of gupta ray is setting instead of muhammad that's insane why just why it's like self-destructive at this point. Why is Ray playing? He's terrible. I'm going to release him. I don't care. I'm going to release him. I'm going to release both Ray and Muhammad. Where are you? Ray, at, you have terrible potential. Get out of here. Why is he playing? Muhammad at the club since. He's at the club since. Release him. Who else is terrible? This Rahman guy. He's Rahman, but I've got to release him. For the greater good, he's gone. Sheikh we can keep. Ahmed, gone. How we need? We need a backup goalkeeper. And we need this guy as well. Gupta's potential to be special, by the way. Out of nowhere. And so is this other Gupta guy. Oh my God. Okay, glass ceilings have been shattered. There is a chance. A slim chance. What a chance. Sheikh loan offer from Deportivo Alaves. The aim is to send him out on loan and pray becomes good. Bradford. Oh, we beat them. That's a bit of a shame. Ooh, beat Cardiff in the cup. We take that. Can we win the cup again? Okay, we lost to Oxford. I think we're out. Yeah, we are. Oxford feet. Oh, no, Fleetwood beat us. Yeah, so we're out of the cup. We can't go back to back in the BSM trophy. But the fact that we even have the chance to go back to back in that trophy is a terrible thing. Oh, my God. Okay, we lost to Carlisle, but we beat Gillingham and Crawley. And we beat Newport. Okay, good. We beat Forest Green and Barrow. Putting together a run. We're winning games. We're winning games. Games. Oh my god, we lost. Okay, we're about mid-April now, and we are second. One point off Cheltenham with two games in hand. But we can overtake them here. We have them next up in the league. Massive moment for us in our season. Our team is far too good to be down here. Let's go, quick sim. And we lost. Oh my god. We just can't get any luck, can we? I feel like the second we get out of League 2, we'll just start dominating. But for now, we're stuck. We're absolutely stuck. Although we still do have two games in hand, so it's still definitely in our hands. We have four games to go. If we win them all, we're going to win the title. Can we deliver when we need to? We got a win against Northampton. 
Everton, who we lost to at the start of the season. 5-3 against Grimsby. Bit of a weird one. We beat Leighton or in 4-0. Accrington Stanley on the final day. Have we won the league? Yes, we almost have. Not quite yet. We've conceded a lot of goals again this season. 47 conceded, but 95 scored. Yeah, that kind of sets us up, doesn't it, really? In terms of contracts, so this mock contract. Two-year extension. Brilliant. Okay, no problem. What about Bowman? One-year extension. Brilliant. You're poor one year as well. Brilliant. Okay, so we're good. Shake is up to a 72. He's gone plus eight. Jesus. Loan deal. OP. Problem solved. But yeah, so Mohammed and Begum are now playing. Thank God I released that guy. This team is so good. How are we down here? Is it because Gupta isn't that good in nets? It's probably because Gupta isn't that good in nets. I mean, but he's still 73 rated. He's still the best keeper in the division. I, I don't know. Anyway, we beat Accrington Stanley. Flawless final month. We win League 2. We are finally out of this division. Uh, Cheltenham got 102 points, so they almost actually stayed with us. But uh, no, they almost overtook us. But no, 104 points, setting records and winning League 2. Finally, we're out of this godforsaken division. It's taken four years and one hour and 47 minutes of footage. But we're there, finally, into League 1. Now, I reckon it, it could just be like the flick of a switch and we just fly off, start winning loads of games. We could get back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back promotions to the Premier League. But based on my previous experience um, with this team in the last hour and a half or so, get back that to happen. Let's see what happens, though. Could be worth loaning this guy. Let's just try it for two years and see what happens. The other loans we've done have been incredible, so maybe it'll work. Gupta, no, we need Gupta. Asked to move away. Oh, why does this happen to me? Why did Gupta request a transfer? That makes no sense. Why would you do this to us? What the hell? Okay, let's get this over and done with now. Accept it from Schalke. Get him gone and we'll buy him back. That's so dumb. Why would he do that? He's played the whole season. He's good. Hey, Gupta is sold. There we go. We sold him to Schalke and we bought him from Schalke. And passed around like a blunt. Okay, let's go. League One season. Let's simulate through the first month and just get a bit of an idea of where we're set in the League One table. First game against Charlton ends up being a one-all draw. Okay, we don't really learn much from that. Wickham is also a draw. Plymouth in the Cup we beat. Rotherham we draw with is what we're drawing every game. Okay, but we beat Reading and we beat Carlisle. Okay, that's good. What about Walsall? Beat them as well. Shrewsbury's a win. Derby in the Cup is a draw. Okay, so we're actually pretty good. Haven't lost a game yet. Third in the league. Could be back-to-back -back promotions. Shake is back at 73 overall. That's good. This team is so good. Way too good for this division. It kind of depends on Gupta, our goalkeeper, though. The quicker he can get better, I think the better we're going to get, just like that. Goalkeepers are so important in these simulations. There you go. Goalkeeper, one week to get better. Perfect. Let's fly through to Bellowit and Plans, actually. I haven't done that for a while. Oh, my God. Ma's going to get better in two weeks. This is ridiculous. Gupta's going to get better in two weeks as well. This team is so good. Oh, my God. This team is far too good for this stupid division. I feel like I've said that so many times. Okay, we're set now. We have our team. We have our development plans. We also have our contracts sorted out. Let's get Sheik on a deal. Three-year rotation is amazing. Everyone else is longer than two years, so we don't really need to worry about it. Uh, let's just go to January. Nothing left for me to do. Scouting is done. Players are sorted. Development is not hindered at all. Development is supported. Let's go. Come on. Win me the league! <laughs> Please! We're doing really well. Don't think we've lost yet. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> Great. Typical. Come on, India. Bring it home to India. We lose to West Ham in the Cup, so we're not quite Premier League standard, but we are getting there. As I said, I don't think our keeper is good enough. Okay, we're at the top of January now, and we're top of the league! Back-to-back -back promotions! Come on! It's on. It's actually on. Okay, our keeper's already up to a 76. That's really good. 200 million from Ma. 167 for Kapoor. 100 million for Begum. Insane. Nothing more I can do. Let's go to June. Come on, boys. We win against Barnsley. Oh, come on. Yes! And again. Yes! Finally! Oh my god, we're winning games! I've struggled so hard to get to this point. Oh, it's been such a grind. It's actually been such a grind. It should not have been this difficult to be this good at football. We lose to Stockport, though. We're not safe. But we beat Wigan. That's good. And we beat Nats County in the Cup. We have Manchester United away in the Cup. Can we beat them? No, we don't. Okay, that would have been ridiculous. Oh, we're absolutely flying. Oh my god, we're flying. Oh, we're winning games. We're bringing India back from under 100th in the world rankings. We're bringing them back. Not that they were ever good in the first place, but you know what I mean. Oh my god, come on. We're into May. Ah, oh, we lose to Portsmouth. Come on. Win. And again. Oh, come on. We beat Charlton. Good. Stop the tape. Top of the league. 103 points. Back to back seasons of over 100 points. Conceded a lot of goals, especially compared to second and third place, but we scored 93. So uh, it doesn't really matter. That'll be our goalkeeper, but our goalkeeper's up to an 80. Our entire team is above 80 overall. Can we go back to back to back? And can we win the championship straight away? Give these boys the contracts that they deserve. Four release clause. Yeah, but it's 400 mil. We should be all right. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's fine. Development is all good as well. Yeah, we're looking great. In this run, once again, we've had our like trademark striker and winger pairing. That's just insane. That's exactly what we want, of course. We've had Ma out on the wing and then we've had that striker as well. But we've had so many difficulties. Just completely underperforming for our rating. On top of that, we've had difficulties with players. People have been leaving. People haven't been hitting potential. But no, they're all done. All of the hurdles have been jumped and now it's time to watch it all happen. Into the championship. Back-to-back -back promotions. Can we go back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back from League 2 to the Premier League in one fell 
last swoop. And this is the team that's going to do it. A really good team. Matt is up to a 90 overall, just heading out of League One. That's insane. Gupta's up to an 80. Again, as I said, the better he gets, the better we get. So the more he climbs, the more we will too. Let's go to January. Let's go to January. Come on, boys. First game against Bolton, a 2-1 win. That's a brilliant sign. Birmingham, we beat. Lincoln City in the cup, we get a win in. Stoke, we lose to. That's okay. We're going to lose games. Three clean sheets on the bounce, by the way. Make it four. I think we finally showed up our defense, which was the main problem, by the way. We can sort out our defense. We can score plenty of goals. And now we're doing it. Now we're really doing it. Okay, one all against Sheffield isn't great, but a 4-2 win over Sunderland's good. Sheffield, by the way, Premier League opposition, more or less. 4-0 win over Preston is brilliant as well. We're flying. Luton, that's Premier League opposition, and we do beat them. They were in the Premier League when we were in League 2, and now we're beating them in the Championship. 3-0 to Crystal Palace, though. That's tough. That's very tough. Crystal Palace are good, though. And we're second. This could really happen. And as the season goes on, we're only going to get better. Gupta, our goalkeeper, is up to an 83, but our entire team is just flying up and overall. Matt and 92 as well. Karishi's actually hit gold, which is surprising to me. Mohamed as well is doing pretty well on the bench. But the main men, Matt on the wing, Kapoor up front, and Gupta out on the right, smashing it. Barman and Barman in midfield. Sounds like the name of a law firm, but they're doing really, really well. Our best defender is Berum. The guy who went on loan and went up 13 overall. Don't ask me how that happened, but I am taking it for what it is. Let's go to the last. Oh, Crystal Palace. This last game of the season is tough, but let's go to it and see how we do. Jared Sheikh is unhappy. It's a loan request. Okay, we can do that. Gupta, by the way, 88 million. You can sell him for 140 maybe, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, we beat Bournemouth in the cup. That's a massive result, but we did lose to them in the league. If you didn't know, Bournemouth are top of the league, and we are down to fourth already. Who's gone up top? Fulham. God, Fulham Palace and Bournemouth. That's tough. As you can see, this championship season is going to be tight. We do get a result over Sheffield United. A lot of Premier League opposition to play against. Burnley in the cup, we beat. Luton, we beat as well. Burnley is Premier League opposition, by the way, and we do get past them. Now we have Manchester United away. FA Cup. We beat Manchester United in the FA Cup. Oh my God. What a result. And we beat Barnsley. And we beat Blackpool. And we beat Bristol. Draw with Blackburn. Draw with Stoke. Fulham is a massive game. We draw. That's perfectly fine. FA Cup semi-final. We win. We're in the FA Cup final in the championship. And we beat Ipswich. 5-0 against QPR. We get a win over Plymouth. And now we're on the final day against Crystal Palace in the league. We are top. We are up. We are in the Premier League next year. 101 points. Over 100 points for our third consecutive season. We stopped leaking goals and we are scoring just as well as ever. We score three goals in this final game. We break 100 on the season. Crystal Palace to play. We win this game. We win the title for the third year in a row. And we do. Kapoor and Shah. Kapoor misses a penalty that would have given us 100 goals, but we end up on 99 goals scored. More than two goals a game. And now we have an FA Cup final to do a league and cup double to send us into the Premier League. Back to back to back promotions are secured. And that's the first time I think I've ever done that. Can we win the FA Cup to put the cherry on top? Yes, we can. Gupta and Mohammed with the goals. India are in the Premier League and India are already in a European competition. FA Cup champions, Europa League next season and the championship title. We didn't lose a game in the championship or an awful long time, by the way. We didn't lose a game since January, that game against Bournemouth. We've lost one game in the calendar year of 2029. We progress on to next season with our heads high looking for that Premier League title. Can we win four titles in a row? Maybe, possibly. It's good. Actually, the chances are actually not too bad. Our worst player is 85 overall. We're good. We're really good. But are we Premier League champion good? Let's find out. There were times where I thought I would never see the Premier League ball with this India team. But through the trials and tribulations, through what, four seasons in League Two? Two seasons later, we're playing Premier League football. Wow, what a time to be alive. Obviously, because we won the FA Cup, we're in the Community Shield against Manchester City. We'll do our best, okay? Yes, we won it! Oh my God, we actually did. Kapoor, our striker with the goal. We had more possession than Manchester City who have Bellingham. Oh God, that's terrifying. Bellingham? Oh, that's so not fair. Okay, uh, nothing we can really do. I've sorted out contracts and bits and bobs like that. First game of the season, we get a loss. Against Bournemouth? Oh God. Don't tell me we're going to get relegated. I did think we were going to do a bit better than that this season. Come on, we can do better. Okay, we beat Chelsea. That's a great sign. What about Liverpool? Can we beat them? Oh, we lose to them. That's okay though. Again, it's very unlikely we're going to go a full Prem season unbeaten. We need wins against the likes of Watford though. 5-1 is a statement of intent. I was a bit scared there when I saw Tarun Barman. It says 124 weeks before his next development. So I was a bit like, oh God, it's going to take forever. If I just make him a playmaker, 17 weeks. Perfect. We can still get better. Ma is going to take 442 weeks to get better with a wide playmaker, but support mate playmaker, 33 weeks. Pretty decent. Problem solved. Let's go to like March. I don't know. And we're out of the EFL Cup, but I don't really care that much. We win against Applewell. Of course, if we win the Europa League, we qualify for the Champions League, which is ultimately the aim for this season. Of course, winning the league would be nice, uh, but the main thing is Champions League qualification or bust. And to be honest, I don't really think we'll win the league. We're good, but we're not quite that good yet. Although we did just beat Man City away at the Etihad. Maybe we are 
that good. Surely we're not going to win every single title back to back to back to back. Oh my god. That would be like a record or something. I've never seen that done before. Genuinely ever. We beat Arsenal. Lose to Forest. Okay. We're in January now. We do win against Fleetwood, so we're still in the FA Cup. And we're second in the table. Granted 10 points behind Liverpool. But this does tend to happen in the Premier League where one team will steam off and then fall back dramatically in the second half of the season. We're like the best of the rest here. There's a real chance we win the Premier League. Genuinely. Unbelievable. Okay. Now there is obviously a chance that Liverpool don't get any worse and just stay as the best team in the league. But there is a chance they don't. And that's enough for me. We beat Leicester. That's good. They're up with us in the Champions League spot. Okay, Man City in the FA Cup's gonna be tough. And we destroyed them. And we beat them in the league. 3-0 in both games. Oh my god. We just beat Man City 6-0 between two games. We haven't conceded in four games. Draw against Aston Villa is fine. We get six points off Man City this season. That's insane. Although we are losing games. And we lost to Liverpool. We, we win our Europa League ties 7-1. Come on, we can beat Arsenal. Yes. 2-0 down against Hoffenheim. We don't bring it back. Okay, so we're out of the Europa League, but I'm pretty sure we qualify for the Champions League. We're winning loads of games. Burnley is a win. Watford is a win. And now we're in to the final day of the season. Ah, oh, Liverpool have won it. Oh, we've done so well. 78 points. So close to all four league titles in back-to-back -back seasons. But it's not going to happen for us. The most we can get is 81 points. That won't be enough for the Premier League title. So close for India FC. This team, though, has gotten so, so good. Our worst player is 87 overall, and he's our centre-back. The rest of the team is just insane. Our entire bench is more or less gold, apart from two players. It's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we're on our way to second in the Premier League. Oh, that's so harsh. We could have done it. We so could have done it. That's so unfortunate that it didn't happen for us this season. Tottenham on the final day, we lose 2-1. So we end up on 78 points. Liverpool win against Bournemouth just stab us uh, a little bit further in the hearts. That's okay, though. We move on. Epic Cup final to play once again against Manchester United. Can we get ourselves into the Community Shield for next season as well? Yes, we do. Ma in the 87th minute wins us the FA Cup for back-to-back -back years. Pretty damn good. And very well in cup competitions. Granted, not too well in the Europa League, losing to Hoffenheim, but look, it does happen. Can't win everything every single time, so we're going to move on. Champions League. Real Madrid won it last season. Hopefully, that's going to be us next year. Today on India FC, I've worn my Indian jersey. That's right. I'm representing for my team. We're now in the Champions League. We are ready to go to the future. I cannot wait to absolutely dominate European football with these guys. But first, let's sort out some contracts. Nobody is allowed to leave this team. But even though we're in European competition, it doesn't stop me from still having to do these stupid development plans. Okay, they're all done now. We lost the Community Shield to Liverpool, which is brilliant, but we did win our first game of the season against Newcastle. That's good. We're back on track now. We always stumble early in the season, and I don't know why. Two all draw to Liverpool. They might be good this season. First Champions League game of the simulation. We beat FC Copenhagen 4-2. We should be able to get out of our group, and they're six points from a possible six. And we beat Man City. Brilliant. All the struggle in League 2. Four seasons at the bottom of the English football pyramid, and now we're smashing up Europe. That is exactly what I want to see. And our entire team is now 90 plus, apart from Mohamed in defense. When he gets one over or more, we'll all be 90 plus, which is insane. India are the best team on the planet, but can they confirm it? Can they win themselves a Champions League title? We'll have to see. And we're into January. Okay, here we go. We're through our Champions League group. I think we got 16 points from a possible 18. One draw, five wins. Zero losses so far. In the Champions League round of 16, though, we could get a really tough team. We topped our group, so we probably shouldn't, but let's see who we have. And we end up with AC Milan. That's tough. That is a tough tie. We win the first leg 2-1. That's a great sign. And we win the Carabao Cup. And we're through the Champions League round of 16. 2-1 in both legs to us. Brilliant. Oh my god. Barcelona in the quarters. That's tough. 2-1 winning the first leg, though. Please close it out. Yes! 5-3 on the aggregate. We're into the semi-finals. What a run. Bayern. Oh my god. We just don't get easy ties, do we? Draw the first leg, please. Yes! We're in the Champions League final. Oh my god. And it's gonna be Bayer Leverkusen in the final. Probably the easiest tie of all of our games so far in the knockout rounds. The Champions League animation is playing. I am delighted. Let's see how we've done in other competitions. So in the Premier League, we finished top of the table. 86 points. Brighton 15 points behind us in second place. Community Shield does go Liverpool's way, but we didn't win the FA Cup, but the Carabao Cup we did get. So if we win the Champions League, it would technically be a treble. Granted, it's the Carabao Cup instead of the FA Cup, but hey, that's still pretty damn good. Super Cup goes to Real Madrid. Hopefully that'll be us next season after we win the Champions League final against Bayer Leverkusen. And simply put, it's the biggest game of the simulation. This is it. If we win this game, we have succeeded. Everyone is 90 plus now. Everyone's actually 91 plus now. This is the best team in the world. It just has to be. They're all Indian. Let's see if we can go the distance and win the Champions League with India. And the tension begins to build. Bayer Leverkusen are good in these simulations. They have brilliant talent. I mean, you've seen them in real life and their potential is just sky high in these simulations as well. Let's see if India can somehow topple the German giants and win themselves the Champions League. And here we go. A rear on the ball to Florian Wirtz. A lot of talent in this Leverkusen team, but hey, we are in 
India and we are strong. Let's see if we can win the Champions League. Leverkusen starting strong into Martinez. Brilliant tackle. Referee doesn't give it as a penalty. Early scare for us though. I thought he could have blown that up. He didn't. Barman comes forward. Slips in. Gupta. Good save. Second chance. So almost. Karneshi holds the ball and we relax. Oh my god. We have the best chance so far in this game. Leverkusen put the early pressure on but we're right back at them. Kureshi to Barman. Barman with a shot. Good save from Karneshi. We take the corner. Martinez now cutting inside. Martinez to Arir. Arir with a shot. Comfortable save from Gupta. Leverkusen win themselves a corner though. And it's dangerous here. It's very dangerous. Great ball into the box. Not one and it's cleared. Arir on the edge of the box. Terrible touch and now Barman picks it up. Can India counter attack? Barman trying to escape his man. What a tackle from Arir. And that's the end of the first half. That little moment there is probably symbolic of the first half. Kind of back and forth chance, maybe not quite. Arir loses the ball, wins it back. Kind of scrappy, no goals so far. But this game is absolutely brilliant. Leverkusen are strong, India are brilliant. And will we win the Champions League? India nil, Leverkusen nil, all to play for. Back to Chiesa. This is scary from Leverkusen to Arir. What a save from Gupta. Oh my God, Leverkusen are good. They are so good. Chiesa to Martinez, flicks it up. Can't get through, can he? Not quite. To Daniel Mo. Back to Frimpong. They're moving the ball so well, just working on us. It's Chiesa with the shot. It's Chiesa with the goal. And Bayer Leverkusen take the lead in the Champions League final. Matt to Barman. Kureshi. Oh God. Please. Come on, Kapoor. Kureshi. Kureshi through the gap. Kureshi. Oh, good save. Oh, the stupid team, man. This, oh, my God. This team is so dumb. That's so this team. That is so this team. Right, I don't even want to see it. Let's just go. I'm not going to waste your time this season. We're going to go straight to the knockout rounds and we're going to see how we're doing. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. We're actually losing games. Please win. Okay, good. Okay, win this game against Roma, please. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Am I comfy? No. Please win. Oh, God. We've lost three games. Are we out of the Champions League? Oh, my God. We're out of the Champions League. How does this happen? How is this team not good enough? What happens? Oh, my God. This stupid, stupid simulation. We lost to Notts County in the Cup. So, right at the FA Cup. That's great. We have Leighton Orient in the EFL Cup semi final. We have Hoffenheim in the Europa League. I hope they beat us. I hope we lose. Go on, beat us, Hoffenheim. We won the EFL Cup again. That's cool, but I don't care. Dortmund, please beat us. Oh my god. Beat us, Dortmund. God. When I want to win, we lose, and when I want to lose, we win. Brilliant. Thank you. This team just hates me. Fiorentina, beat us. Knock us out. Oh my god, we destroyed them. Oh, they knocked us out. There we go. We're absolutely cooking teams. The last game of the season is Man City away. We've already won the league, though, by 15 points. We lost three games all year, and we beat Man City in the Etihad. Cool. I don't care. Oh, we actually have youth academy prospects because I got sacked. Get out of here. India only. Oh my god. Barcelona want my god. Goalkeeper for two. Oh my god, it's not even my goalkeeper, it's my right back and my captain. Embarrassing block. We're gonna go to December because I need to do contract. Community Shield! We win! There we go. We won the Community Shield. Yay. Can we go unbeaten in the Premier League? With this team, we probably should. Never mind, it's over. Nice easy run of fixtures to start the league season, though. I'll definitely take that. Mavididi wins player of the month. Champions League. We win. Okay. I'm not skipping to the round of 16. I'm not making the same mistake again. Please win. Yes. Okay, we're good. Ah, Fiorentina beat us. Okay, that's okay, though. They beat us in the Europa League last year. I hope they don't beat us in the Champions League this year. There we go. Now I can do the extension. Uh, this shaker guy doesn't want to do a contract with us because he wants to move away from the club. Bit embarrassing, really. Anyway, now uh, we're out of the EFL Cup as well. Yeah, we could beat my Spurs on penalties. That's fine, though, because they won't win it. Let's go to the 1st of June. Come on, boys. The treble's still on. We're still in the FA Cup. I don't mind waiting this long for a treble. That's okay. I can live with that. This is year 10, by the way, of the simulation. And we're still in the FA Cup. Napoli in the Champions League is tough. 2 0 win in the first leg is promising. Please win. Yes, we're still in the FA Cup. Okay, now Napoli. We win. 4 0. An aggregate is amazing. We should be. Burnley, please. Good. Okay, we're still in the FA Cup. This is a good run. Villa, we draw. City, we beat. Away. Leicester, we get revenge on. City in the Champions League. Oh my god, are you serious? We won! Oh my god, we won. We won the second leg, 4-2. Now we have what? Salzburg in the Champions League semi-final? 6-1 in the aggregate. That was never going to be a problem. Okay, FA Cup final against Liverpool. We win. Champions League, PSG. It's all coming together. So we won the FA Cup. We're in the Champions League final and we won the Premier League by a landslide. This could be the strongest treble of all time and it's PSG to play against. It's Kylian Mbappe. Does he stand in our way? This team is so good. Okay, I'm going to sim to the 60th, 70th minute and jump in. Jumping in and it's not good. We're 1-0 down to PSG, but we're on the front foot. We need a goal. Can we get it here? Good save from Donnarumma. We are absolutely battering that PSG goal, but we just can't put it in the back of the net. Barman now on the edge of the box. Still Barman with a shot. What a block. Oh God, it's the 90th minute. What's he blown that for? Someone's offside. Okay, get the ball moving. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We don't have time. It's all we can do. Come on, please win the header. Yes, get on the end of it. Oh no. 
How have we lost another one? How have we lost another one? We've lost another one. Why am I fan celebrating? This is the worst day of my life. India are so bad at football. This is horrendous. Two Champions League finals, two loss. The treble on the cards and they fall at the final hurdle. Oh, you couldn't make that up. We almost won the treble. When is this going to happen for this India team? Community Shield. Oh, come on. Why do we never win that tournament? Okay, maybe this is the year that we go invincible in the Premier League. I don't know. Because our team is better than last year. Like every year, just keep getting better. That's the nature of Youth Academy speedruns. Unless you get like to the other side when everyone starts declining, but we're not even near that yet. Bayern Munich in our group, we beat them 1 0. That's a good sign. EFL Cup, we're still in it. Let's go. Royal Antwerp. Okay, we beat them. And we lost to Burnley. So <laughs> there goes the unbeaten streak. Brilliant. Lech Poznan. Yes. Okay, we're winning games in the Champions League. We're not going to be Europa League this season, I hope. We're still in the Cup. That's good. And we beat Lech Poznan again. That's good. But I just can't help but feel like we'll get to the final and just lose again. But I've said it already. This video will end with a Champions League victory. And I mean that. I will go until I have no hair left whatever that means efl cup yes we still in it let's go lose to chelsea in the league draw with burnley in the league burnley have taken four points off us this season chelsea in the efl cup first leg is a two all draw we're through in the fa cup come on please win yes okay we're through in the efl cup we're through in the fa cup we're doing well in the league and now we have Bayer leverkusen that would be beautiful revenge sweet sweet revenge come on draw against villa draw against everton beat brentford i hope draw against brentford beat Bayer leverkusen and then here we go cup finally against brighton massive massive game for us our season CDM is 99 rated, by the way, and so is Matt on the left wing. Gupta and Kapoor are 90. Yeah, this team is ridiculously good. Can we win the EFL Cup? No, we don't. The team. Oh my god. This is so frustrating. This is actually so frustrating. Oh, so close. The quadruple is dead. That's okay, though. I care more about the Champions League than anything else. We're still in the FA Cup, though, which is nice. Second leg against Leverkusen. Can we close this out? Yes, we do. Okay, so we're through in the Champions League and we're through in the FA Cup. Doesn't matter. We're going to get to the final and lose anyway. Arsenal in the Champions League quarterfinals. That's a 2-1 win in the first leg. Come on. And we close it out. Brilliant. And we lose in the FA Cup semi-final to Arsenal. Amazing. Napoli first leg Champions League semi-final is a 2-all draw. Leaves us needing a victory. And we get it. We're back in the Champions League final for the third time in four years. This time around, who are we going to be playing against? It's going to be AC Milan. The team that we had in the round of 16 all the way back at the start. This CDM is literally 99 pace, 98 defending, 99 physical. This guy is ridiculous. Oh my god. Even Kapoor up around 99 pace, 98 shooting, 98... Like, what? Good is ridiculous. I mean, so is Ma as well. Barman in midfield is like Javi, and then the other Barman is like him, but with more pace and more physical. Begum in defense has 99 pace. Mohammed in defense has 94 pace. Doesn't really matter because uh, we still haven't won the Champions League. All of that, we still haven't won the Champions League. Uh, let's go to the 60th, 70th minute and see how we're doing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, finally, it's 3 0 to India, and it's Kapoor to make it 4. Oh my god, we're actually good at football. Finally, we're winning the Champions League in the San Siro against AC Milan, by the way. Kind of a home game, but I'll let it slide. 4 0 to India. Let's go. Oh my god. Finally, we're absolutely destroying them. It's about time. It's honestly about time. Man with a brace. Kapoor with a brace as well. We're smashing it. We're doing so well. Oh, I've waited so long. Way too long, to be completely honest. It's like, what, 11, 12 years in the future? This team should have won the Champions League ages ago. Milan have the ball up to Schneider. Is it just whenever I watch the games, we just play like crap? Is that what the problem is? I think it is. Because they're about to score. 4-1. I, I think it's my fault. Ever since I've watched, we've drawn the game one all. We just scored three goals in simulation. Granted, we lost last year as well to PSG, but look, what can we do? Kapoor is going to take the tip off, and that's going to be it. Finally, India win the Champions League. This is the longest youth academy, and probably the worst youth academy run we have done, despite the team being insane, of course. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on, but finally, India are European champions. Gupta there to lift the trophy. It's about time. I'm not even delighted. I'm more just glad it's all over. Gupta lift the trophy in India. Our European champions for the first and probably only time. We've made them the best national team in the world. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I took North Korea and made them the greatest youth academy of all time. The best team in the world belongs to North Korea in that video. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video.